Hi there. Today I've decided to go for a little winter walk, as most photographers in the country are doing these days. We're anticipating a little bit of snow. Now, in the Scottish borders, we've not actually had any snow as of yet, but the weather forecast today didn't forecast any, but the clouds coming over just now are showing a nice um, snowy look to them. So I'm going to preempt a little bit of bad weather, hopefully coming over, get out with the cannon. I'm heading to a wee location today that I've not been to for a couple of years. It's minus seven degrees right now, so I've got the jacket, I'm all wrapped up, ready to go. So let's go for a little tour and let's go to this little uh, rural location and get some photographs to see what we can see today. Today is just a little wilderness walk day. I'm, uh, I'm at the foot of the Odin Hills, just behind me here. Now, like I said, it's taken me a little bit longer to get here than I hoped. Christmas traffic and stuff. But the uh, the weather's looking no too bad. I was hoping for a bit of snow. You can see the clouds above me here. Um, I was looking for a bit of snow from that. I'm just going to go into where we're looking. It looks like a large quarry here. I've been walking for a little while now just to try and find this thing and it looks crazy you find a big hole just open up for me now you can see I'm wrapped up it was minus 7 when I left the house so uh, it's quite cold this is amazing the trees have all fell down some of the views you can see into the distance are just phenomenal, they really are so I've walked away from the car and I'm coming up this hill and uh, I'm just trying to look for a possible something interesting to maybe shoot today another day off so I thought I'd come for a walk into the woods I can see the snow in the distance what I'm looking for is a way over there it's not actually here but I can see the sunshine hitting through to the mountains over in the background as well so we'll carry on up the hill and we'll see what we can see So just as I walk along the path here, just very lightly, I can feel the snow starting to fall. This is what I've been waiting for for so long. You can see the area that I'm in. You can see the views in the back here. Absolutely phenomenal. Uh, just carrying on up, I'm following the path basically up the hill. It's quite, uh, it's quite a, it's not a steep hill. It's just constant. So, I'm not the best of hill walkers in the world. But I'm looking for a little composition up here that might involve these three trees and I can actually see just in between the hill here there's a snowfall I can feel it falling heavier and heavier it's amazing it's my first snowfall of the year and it's amazing to actually be out when it starts snowing for the first time in the, in the Scottish borders Puts a wee smile on my face. Makes you feel Christmassy. You have that. Do you know what I mean? You know what I mean. So I've come to a point just before I get to these three trees here. That's what I'm looking at. Uh, possibly having something to do with that. But... Just away in the distance here, I don't know if you can see that on there It's just white, beyond beyond the first set of trees there It's just thick with snow, you can see it falling from, uh, from here, you can see the whole cloud there It's absolutely amazing I watched this cloud bank come over earlier on when I was in the house And I thought, I need to go out, I need to go And when you're in the comforts of your house And you don't have to go out and it's warm and cosy and you think do you know what? I don't have to go. There's nothing leading me to go. And then you see the cloud and you think it's winter time, that might just be, and then and then it starts. I don't think it's gonna to come to anything, which is unfortunate, but 
I'm carrying on up this wee hill here. Just as we get up, I'm trying to think of what I can do with these wee trees that are just sitting here, completely in the open. There's one just down the hill as well, just at the bottom there. Just for me to have a wee think about what I can do. But the view from here already is spectacular. I've been up to the top of the Eldens once, it was a few years ago now. And uh, the view from up there was amazing, but it was windy. Really windy. And I had went up in a February. And it was just too cold. So I didn't spend much time up there. But from where I'm standing right now, I'll give you a wee look once I get to this wee peak just up here. And you can have a look and see. But it's getting steeper now. to the first little, the little halfway up bit. The last wee bit there got quite steep. If you look in the distance just back here though, you can see this, you can actually see the snow passing through. That seems heavier than what it's been in the bit I'm standing at just now. Photographically, there's nothing amazing to capture while I stand here. There's no, no massive focal interest. But just looking up at the top of the hill, it's tempting me to climb up it again. It has been years since I climbed up it, so it'd be something I'd be willing to try again, but I don't know if today's the day with the fact that that snow looks like it's coming in quite heavy. Now, that one on the other hand has got a little bit of focal interest, which is quite interesting to actually maybe walk up there. And there's a path that leads all the way through. So I might continue on. I'm having a look around, but even if I don't get a shot, just to be out in a day like today, just watching the world from above, it's just amazing, it really is. And if you ever get the chance just to go for a walk up a hill, just go for it. Don't, don't, don't say no, don't sit in the house, just go for a walk because it's absolutely amazing what you can see when you actually get up to a different height from normal ground level. Especially the fact that you can see way across, I can almost see, well, I don't know where that actually is. I think it's almost the border of England, to be honest. Beyond Hoyk anyway, because I'm, I'm in line with where Hoyk is, and that snow is really coming down. So again, it's maybe taking me a little bit longer to drive here because of silly people in their Christmas traffic and wanting to shop, but just, just amazing. Again, I can feel a little bit of snow just coming in, but the cloud above me is going more to the south of me, so there's nothing I can see here. But I'm just going to carry on my way up the top of that hill there, so I'll speak to you in a wee second. So a wee bit of hard work, a wee bit of push myself beyond. And look at that. It's snowing so heavy between me and the hills in the distance, it's unbelievable. The view is magnificent, it really is. You can see the snow clouds all over there. You can see the, the hills in the distance are just gorgeous. The whole place is just fantastic. I'm a wee bit out of breath because I'm used to climbing hills. But I'm definitely going to get more intake because this is phenomenal. I can see Smailham Tower from here. I can see the snow falling and I can see paths that can lead me in any direction that I want to go. I can see the cairn at the top of number three yielding, which I've not quite came to, but amazing. So I've still not found the composition to shoot that will capture what I'm looking at because everything's so far away. But just standing here, alone, with nobody else up here.
couldn't think of anything better to do right now. It's just gorgeous. Stunning view. Absolutely gorgeous, the whole way. And look at that snow. Look at that snow. I reckon it'd take me about 20 minutes to drive. See where that snow is falling? But again, will there be a composition there? Who knows? But you can see the vast amount of it that's actually falling. It's just insane. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. <laughs> So I've decided just to have a wee sit down, just up this wee hill that I've climbed up here. Just as uh, just as a wee thought. It's not always about capturing the image, it's not all about getting that perfect image. Sometimes it's just about actually getting out and aiming to capture something. But if you don't, that's not the end of the world. Just enjoy it. I mean, this is, this is lovely. I'm up here all by myself. There's nobody else. As far as the eye can see, there's not another person in this world, according to me right now. So peaceful, so quiet. It just gives you time to have a think and a reflect and a slow down from what busy life is. Everything's always go, go, go. And it doesn't have to be. You just have to sit down, take it in. It's not always about get the camera out and shoot to shoot. Sometimes it's just it's just another way. That's how quiet it is up here. <sighs> Amazing. And the sun's really, really beaming down in my eyes now, so chances of capturing anything in that direction right now has went to nothing. <laughs> But what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back down towards the car and I'm possibly going to head towards that snow. I've come back out tonight with the Fuji um, just to do another sunset shoot. Um, I can see the sky is lighting up nicely. There is less clouds in the sky than I was hoping as of earlier on today as you've seen. Um, the clouds were all over the place and there was a bit of snow in the air as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back down to the river where I was last week and this time I'm going to head back to the, the other side this time and see if I can capture him um, shooting towards the actual sunset itself and see if I can actually capture um, a nice a nice colour in the sky. I'm looking for a contrasting shot of an orange sky with a white ground that comes with the frost. It's still minus one outside so I'm guaranteed there's some frost down there. Just wish there was more snow but there's more time, more time over the next couple of weeks. So let's go and see what we can see. So as with last week's video I'm heading down the same path I was down the last time. As you see, there's massive chunks of ice floating down the river. So I'm going to continue on down the path to see if there's any other compositions available down this area. Now, the river's definitely higher this time than it was last week, which last week was quite high, considering um, it's a very low flowing area for fishermen um, that are normally wading out into the river. Um, it's really fast moving. And there's a big chunk of ice flowing down it as well, obviously due to the low temperatures the last couple of days. But I'm heading down this little river road here, just running parallel to the river itself, in the hopes of capturing that lovely contrast. Now, the contrast I was hoping for is that there's frost everywhere, apart from where I wanted to be. So, <clears throat> hopefully the sun will create a nice orange glow. There is a slight winteriness to this one. So we'll have a wee look and carry on my merry way and see if we can find some compositions this time. So I've set up my Fuji X-T2 and with that in the front I've also got the Lee Big Stopper which should narrow it down to an 8 second exposure at what I'm currently running at. So here goes the shot. As the night draws to a close, I've got a nice composition here. As you can see, the red with the white, just to show exactly what I'm looking for. I've got a couple of shots to show you at the end of this video. I'm going to have to go and quickly set up the now to capture this shot. 
So, today's been another fantastic day shooting and exploring the Scottish borders. As you can see, red sky at night, photographer's delight. What a fantastic evening to finish off shooting with the wonderful X-T2. Hopefully you enjoyed this wee video again and I look forward to doing it all again with you. See you later.